Welcome to KTI V5 Tutorials. This is the fifth video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to start Sketch a Workbench. Let us open Sketch a Workbench. Go to Start, Mechanical Design, Part Design, enter the name and click OK. Activate the icon, Sketch icon from the Sketch toolbar and select a plane and here I want to select YZ plane now right now we entered into sketcher by selecting YZ plane if you can observe here we are having several toolbars out of these toolbars some of them are universal and some are specifically designed for sketcher universal in the sense you can find the same toolbars in most of the workbenches like standard view knowledge tools visualization measure and next one is uh, the list of toolbars which are specifically designed for sketch work workbench like profile operations and constraints okay. now you can write down the list of the toolbars which we are going to discuss uh, in the sketch work workbench you can right click on the dark space and you will get the list of list of toolbars from this current workbench now since some of the toolbars are activated standard workbench knowledge view constraint measure operation profile select sketch tools tools user selection filter and visualization so these two toolbars are already activated now if you want to activate or deactivate some other toolbar then you can simply click on it now if you want to deactivate the standard simply click here and the standard toolbar is deactivated again if you want to activate it select standard say so always follow a standard arrangement always try to keep the toolbars at the same location so that you can easily access the tools now here right now let us take a toolbar now this is a toolbar which is docked okay now this is undocked toolbar and this is a dock toolbar now you can dock it or you can undock it you can dock the toolbars on the top corner the right corner and the bottom corner okay but you cannot dock them to the left side of the design space because we are having specification tree on the left side now already we know what is specification tree specification tree is the log for your design okay <coughs> whatever the operation you perform in the design space will be recorded under the specification tree and already we discussed about the hierarchy hierarchy in the sense in this part one we are having three planes and a part body and under this part body we are having sketch one and under this sketch one we are having absolute axis so this whole yellow portion is the absolute axis vertical axis horizontal and the origin if you expand it you can observe them clearly so origin horizontal direction and vertical direction now if you perform an operation in the design area it will be recorded under the specification so suppose let us take a circle now can you observe it we got a new tree element that is geometry and under that element we are having a circle in the same manner let us take another profile let us take a rectangle now here uh, we got four lines and four vertex points okay. You can choose your own arrangement but 
always follow the same arrangement and here we are having one more toolbar that is sketch tools and uh, the position should be we are having one more toolbar that is sketch tools and this toolbar should not be docked okay we have to keep it at the bottom left corner and the reason is say if you are clicking on profile if you have a sub option for the profile then it will be highlighted under this sketch tools toolbar see we are having three sub options under profile line tangent arc and three point arc and here we are getting prompts for entering the value or defining the value and in the same manner if you choose spline or if you choose a circle and if it has a sub option then it will be highlighted under this sketch tools toolbar see so this is expanding depend on the selected option and in the same manner select a corner see so we are getting totally six sub options so it is uh, better to keep the sketch tools toolbar at the bottom left corner and you should not dock it okay give it some space to expand now let us make a list of toolbars from sketchup now if you right click on the dock you will get the list of toolbars and in this tutorial we are going to discuss about standard workbench knowledge okay some of the features from knowledge view constraints measure operation profile select sketch tools tools user selection filter and visualization you can note it down you can pause the video and make a list of the work toolbars from this workbench now the first toolbar is standard see now you can drag and drop it anywhere in the screen you can dock it or you can undock it now here see for this toolbar I can view the name clearly standard now let us take this toolbar here the full name is not visible okay now if you want to view the full name clearly then you can dock it vertically okay horizontally and you can drag it now the toolbar is horizontal so you can view the complete name again if you want to dock it vertically then place it here okay in this manner and here if you observe the toolbars we are having an extinction mark that means we are having one more option behind it so move the cursor and click on it okay so we here we are having two more options and in the same manner say here okay so if you have some other option behind this icon then you can click here and you will get all the sub options and you can also separate them now here in the uh, you can separate this toolbar press and hold the right click button and drag it now what is this toolbar 3d geometry and this is transformation and this is relimitations okay and in the same manner from profiles we can separate the predefined profiles now let us close them Now let us uh, consider this as the default arrangement okay, or the standard arrangement. I want to have 
the same arrangement every time I open the software. Then you can simply lock this arrangement. Go to Tools, Customize, select um, Options, and click on this um, lock toolbar's position and click Close. Now you cannot drag and drop the dock toolbars see these are dock toolbars so you cannot reposition them but you can reposition this sketch tools because we didn't dock this toolbar okay this is in the design space so you can change the position of the toolbar but coming to the dock toolbars you cannot move them unless you de deactivate this lock toolbars option from the customization dialog box select options tab and uncheck this option lock toolbar position click close now you can drag and drop them we are having some other features here if you go to options see here you can use this to increase the size of the icons but you ha you may have to restart the session that is how to close the package and how to open it, reopen it okay. now let us keep it to default size now this is the default size of the icons now if you want to increase the size of the icons then you can use this cursor and tooltips tooltips means see, while you place the cursor it is giving uh, the name or some kind of information feature element filter volume filter now if you deactivate this one you will not get that tooltip ok as see we have to restart the software then only this option will be activated we can see the uh, remaining options in the later classes you can create a custom workbench or you can import toolbars from one workbench to another workbench okay, those are the options from this customize so we can discuss them later and next important thing is see before starting a model before designing a model you have to choose the units okay further it go to tools options select parameters and measures and select units and change the units according to your requirement now if you want to change the units for length to inches activate that and select inches from the drop down menu in the same manner if you want to change the angle to radians or grade then you can say choose the option from the drop down menu now for time being let us keep it as it is and again I am changing it to millimeters click ok so now the units are in mm and the angle is in degrees now let us go back to tools options units change the units to inches and angle to radian click ok now the length is in inches and the angle is in radian this is how we can uh, change the units of the design area and I think you know the application of the tiling arrows say so if you have zeros uh, after the decimal point 
you can or before the decimal point you can hide them or show them using these options okay and um, this option is for selecting uh, the number of uh, decimal places okay now if you want to show up to three decimal places then define number three and if you want to show only two decimal places then enter the number two and click ok now can you observe it after decimal we are getting three digits